Yo, 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 what the deal? It's your boy X.E.L.O. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you. Yes, you. Thank you for coming back. But if you are new here, please do me a favor. Like, subscribe, hit the bell notification. That'll let you know when I drop another video. Today, what I want to do is show you how I actually do 808 slides inside of Traction Waveform. Yes, we are doing Traction Waveform 13. If you haven't already, it is free to actually download the free version of it. Uh, it's pretty much unlimited unless you want to add extra things inside there. So I definitely say just pick it up if you're uh, looking for a doll. So with that being said, let's get into the video, show you what we're doing. All right, so here we are in Traction Waveform. I'm just gonna create a new project. So I'm gonna go right here. This is how the starting window for it, if you're not familiar with uh, Traction Waveform. So let's just start a new project and let's just call it 808s, all right? So this is just a template that I created uh, just so I can actually start with Traction. So it gives me the option to have like these things down here um, and kind of have everything set up the way I kind of like it to be. So I have like my chords, arranger, master, and I have a track set up, uh, just one track, right? So um, let's get started. I'm just gonna go straight to uh, just kind of getting something together. So I'm gonna hit on my kits where I have my stuff. Uh, what I have noticed about Traction Waveform is the search is very slow. Uh, it almost reminds me of like how Cakewalk does a lot of uh, the slow uh, loading of things, but this takes a long time to load like folders for some reason. I'm not 100% sure if it's just me, but it just seems like it's not as snappy as it could be, uh, especially if you're just looking for folders that I already have saved and bookmarked. So it should be a lot faster to actually get to those if you understand what I'm saying. All right. Anyway, um, let's see if we can find a sample real quick and kind of get started. All right, so I just found like a sample and I do pull in like a hi-hat uh, loop as well. So let me see if I can find um, some kits. All right, so there's another thing like about Traction Waveform that I'm not particularly excited about is like when you drag, let's say I drag this clap, right? I'm gonna drag this clap and put it on this track here. I want it to be on this bar, right? Right here. So um, it kind of um, makes it kind of hard to move to the next thing. Like usually if you are in a DAW, uh, there's like a way to either right click or maybe like a paint or maybe like a paintbrush tool that you can actually use. Um, maybe I'm just missing it. Right. So there's not like a real um, way to kind of do it other than, you know, you go over here, you see a little hand then you can like right. Oh, sorry. Hold down control and kind of drag it over to the next spot. Right. But as you see, it doesn't necessarily line up. I mean, it, I guess it kind of tells you um, where you are, where it's going to start, which is pretty cool as well. Um, but like right here, like if I just try to grab these, I have to hold down alt in order to do that. And uh, Yes, and that is another thing. Like why I'm holding on my right mouse button um, is because I'm, I'm just so used to doing it in other DAWs. And when you move left and right inside here, it'll stretch and zoom the stuff out just from holding down the right mouse button. I don't know if there's a way to, to stop that, <laughs> but um, I don't like it. So I'm gonna hold down uh, control again and drag these two over now. And I'm gonna have it start there. All right, so now I have my claps there. Right, so now you have like a little uh, a little bounce to it. Um, I'm just gonna add a kick. I'm gonna add a MIDI clip. So I'm just gonna hit G on my keyboard. This is a really cool shortcut that they have where you can just kind of make it whatever your loop is. Um, you hit G and it'll make your MIDI clip, right? Um, so now I just need a actual 
something, a sampler in here to play the kick. So there's a couple of different samplers inside here. All right, so there is a micro sampler, which will allow you to actually use like their uh, sampler. There is a drum sampler that they have, and they have a multi sampler as well. So I'm gonna just see about this drum sampler one. And this is what the drum sampler looks like. So what I'll do is drag my kick in here. Right, and it gives you an option to kind of edit things however you wanna like edit it. Um, I think this part about it is really, really cool. Um, one of the things I'm, I'm not too thrilled about is that there's no like real like uh, portamento. So like if you wanted to slide like your 808s from this drum sampler, you couldn't do it. It doesn't do it in the other samplers that they have either. So I will have to resort to actually using complete control to actually do it. But there's a little catch with that as well. As you saw, I just kind of just grabbed the kick and just threw it in here. Um, I'm gonna show you what happens when I try to do that on other uh, third-party software. But let's get this kick in here real quick. And I believe I could actually have this as, let's remove this one, right? This MIDI clip, let's delete that. I'm gonna right click in here and I want to do a step clip, right? And let me stretch this out to be the uh, four bar loop. And so all I have is my kick in here. So I can just add a kick. All right, so, all right, so I have like a little kick pattern that I kind of put in here. It's not the greatest, just uh, something to kind of fill up the video. So here is how it sounds. Right, just something to kind of get uh, everything flowing. So now we want to actually add our 808 track. So I'm gonna actually go here and go to MIDI. That is another thing that's kind of weird that I'm not really appreciative of. Like every time I go to a track, I kind of have to like set it up. Um, there's not really, really a way that it'll kind of just know what I want to do. And there's not a setting to like automatically have it go to like a MIDI kind of thing. Uh, so it's just one of those interesting things that um, came up. And for this uh, 808, I'm actually gonna be using complete control. And I'm just gonna add a single. And basically what I wanna do is, I'm gonna hit G on here, on this line, hit G, and it'll make me a MIDI clip. So I can kind of uh, do what I wanna do on this clip. Let me bring this down. And the sample should be in a B minor. So let's go and set the whole entire uh, song to B minor. So the key is gonna be B and let's make this a minor. All right, so now we have our B minor scale set up on here and we just need to find a, a kick or something or 808 to put in here, right? So I usually like to use complete uh, complete control. This is what complete control looks like. So I'm gonna hit on this little setting here and it'll bring me to where I can just kind of drag and drop stuff. So as we saw before, it was really easy to kind of just drag and drop a sample into inside the regular traction waveform stuff. So same thing, I have this 808 here, right? So I'm gonna grab the 808 just like I would in there and try to drag it in here. As you see, it's not going in there. Uh, so what you have to actually do inside of Traction Waveform is actually click on this section here where the little uh, envelope is, grab that, and then it'll let you actually drag it over, which I don't know why it doesn't let you just do it like you can for uh, Traction Waveform, but it took me a minute to actually figure this out. I actually even sent in a request uh, for support about it and no one ever answer answered me back. So I just kind of worked and worked and worked and figured it out. But yeah, so uh, just, be wary of that if you're actually trying to drag it into any kind of third party, whether that be Serato, Satilla, um, Complete Control, whatever third party sample, you have to actually drag the file, the little file on the side here. And that's the only way to kind of get it into those third party uh, applications. What? But for a waveform, you could just grab anywhere and drag it in there and it'll work for anything that's native to waveform.
All right, so what I want to do is usually to start with like a basic foundation. So I'm going to grab, I'm going to add one in here, stretch this out. All right. I'm just going to do one on every bar just so I can have uh, a bar of each one of them. And then you have like your little variations maybe on the second bar here. So I can kind of add like a different, uh, you know, uh, variation of the rhythm or whatever you want it to actually be. So. I'm going to go right here to where it says show notes in key. So only the notes that are actually in key will actually show up here. So that way we know that we're sliding or moving to a, a note that is actually within the key of the song. I'm going to stretch it out. I'm using control C and the mouse wheel. I'm sorry, control and the mouse wheel to zoom in. So uh, let's see if we can kind of uh, add some stuff in here. Right. So in order to actually do slides, usually with the complete control, uh, you're going to have to make sure things are turned on. So I'm going to go and set that up. So I'm going to click on the complete control. Right. And right up here, you have like your little uh, section for you can do your uh, changes. So I'm going to click on this one that has the little knob on it. Right. And this will bring me to like my voice settings. So I'm going to change this to legato by going up. Now it's on legato and now it gives me an option to go slide. So I'm going to slide this probably up to eight milliseconds and I'm going to leave the pitch where it is. So now if I want to slide, right. So now you can slide notes, uh, pretty easy with complete control. The other, uh, options in here don't give you a slide or portamento option. So this is what, uh, I've been using to do my 808 slides inside of, uh, traction. So. So if I wanted this to slide up here, I'll need to pull this back some, right? And pull this one back some. So now, let's bring this up to E. I'm going to mute the kick for a moment, just kind of see how it's going. Right. I'm going to bring this one back down to this note. So now it'll slide down. So you do have that option to slide down on a note as well. put on here. And as you can see here, like the slider will go all the way back up to this note as well. So this is a really uh, easy way to actually add your slide notes inside of traction waveform. But uh, I'm waiting for them to actually come out to where you can have a portamento inside one of the samplers. Uh, so that way we can actually use their sampler for traction waveform inside of here instead of using complete control. And let's bring these ones up another uh, octave. And I did change my um, settings to move octaves. I changed mine to alt and then hitting the numbers uh, eight to go up and number two to go down. So traction does give you that option to change things for the, your piano roll. 
which is really cool. Um, that's one of the things I really liked about Reaper is that I was able to kind of change whatever I wanted to inside the doll. All right, and then we're gonna do that last same hit to bring that back. So here is what we have for the 808 now inside of Traction Waveform. So this is how I've been doing my 808 slides inside Attraction Waveform. If you have been doing it another way, please leave it below in the comment section. I'd love to know how you guys are actually doing your 808 slides in here as well. But with that being said, that's pretty much the end of this video. Make sure you guys are liking and subscribing to the channel. Look out for more Attraction Waveform videos. Look out for more other doll videos coming up on this channel as well. I'm going to try to see if we can get this train rolling a little bit better than it has been in the past. But with that being said, that's pretty much the end of this video. And once again, it's your boy X.E.L.O. Until next time, people. Peace. Talk, 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 rewind.